hello guys so in today's video we are going to discuss image to video conversion in which we will take some images and convert them into a 3d graphic images so recently many people has been using many softwares other things for it but today we are going to discuss the cap cut that how can we do it so let us start so first of all when you will start cap cut what do we have to do you have to import the images which you want to convert into the video okay so you have to import it and let me import these videos so let me see them these are the four characters of the taken seven so let me import them here okay so i have imported them here let me all add them here to the case so we can see that these are all the images this is basically the first image you can see it here okay so this is the first image the second image is here okay third one is here while the fourth one is here let me convert it into a video okay so in the finished video i will show you how to add all the text and all the information but what is the aim here aim here is to convert them all into a video okay so let me first select them all okay and then after it let me go to the effects in effects let me move to the motion okay so in motion we have different things and uh, here this 3d zoom 3d zoom is basically the option which we are going to use here so let me add it here so we have to apply it to all of them so let me first apply it to the single image first so applying it to this one you can see that okay after it let me move to the second image and let me add it to this one as well okay now to the third one and let me add it here as well and let me move to the final one selecting it and adding it as well okay so you will see that let me try it okay so this is what we have here so if you think that the images are of higher length let me reduce their length as well so let me reduce it to this okay reducing its size here as well and reducing it here as well okay so uh, let me now export it so let me export it with the name video okay to the desktop let me export it with some frame rate and you can select different frame rates here uh, so let me export it so let me see that what is that video So through this you can add them you can use other effects here as well so uh, that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon